my workshop. Today we're going to do some a bit of machining on the SIG X2 converted CNC mill. Uh, we're going to make the the the, the blocks that uh, fit onto the ball nuts. Uh, we're going to be making four of them. Um, I'm going to be making two at a time. Really, it's just um, little bridges that I, I've uh, drawn up in calf curl. And incidentally, <coughs> um, I am associated with uh, calf curl, which is the new name for the ATCAM program. And I have been associated with them for a long time. Um, and I'll put up the code here somewhere. Now that's a 5% discount code across the board of all of their products uh, if you were interested so you get an extra 5% off uh, whether it be Kavco Maker, Maker Plus, whether you're, whether you're paying monthly, whether you're paying yearly or whether you're purchasing outright uh, and even the industrial program you get 5% off that too. So, um, so there's that. And so this is a bare stock material. It's uh, 6061 aluminium solid bar, two inch by one inch or 50 millimeter by 25 millimeter, roughly speaking. Um, so I'm gonna cut some of this off to length and um, we'll machine it up. Okay, so this is a bar stock cut off to rough size. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I've got a very sharp tool put in here because I'm going to set up the XY0. And I'm going to set it up to the corner of this um, vise here. Well, the easiest way to me to do that is to put our material. Now, I don't have parallels, I use um, a little bit of Teflon actually, so it doesn't, uh, it's not affected by coolant or anything like that. I'm going to be running flood coolant to machine this. So put our material in there and we tighten it up. Okay, so we're flush there on the edge of the jaw of the vise and so this is in the same plane as the corner of that so I'm going to fetch this very very sharp tool down and we're going to just bring it very close to this corner here and set our X Y zero but before we do that I'm going to tighten this up in here and then settle it down with a hammer That just settles it down, a little bit more maybe, there we go. So now you can't move the Teflon underneath it, so I know it's down on top of the Teflon, nice and square. Gonna come down a little bit more. I am reasonably sure, now, well, within a couple of thousandths of an inch, that that, let's zoom you in so you can see, Oop. that is right on that corner. Okay, so this is uh, Mark 3. This is the program that um, administers the G-code to the mini mill uh, or controls the, min the mini mill. So I want to just get rid of this, shall we say, built in pendant. I do have a pendant uh, actually connected to this as well. 
Um, so to, to remove this off the screen, you just press tab and it disappears. So actually, before that disappears, I just want to raise up the jog feed rate, which is done here, to about 10%, I think. So the to zero the X, Y position, now this is the start of the piece of work, okay? So you're telling Mark 3, well this is where you, this is the location where you start the program on the piece of work. It's uh, technically known as the G54. That's in G code, but it really doesn't matter. So X zero, Y zero, so that's simply setting the zeros in X and Y. Now, I have to change the tool and put the tool we're gonna to use to cut. And in this case, for the whole process, we're gonna be using uh, an eight millimeter three flute. That's eight millimeter three flute. Um, this is a tungsten carbide end mill. Very expensive end mill. Um, but it's it's you know very good for machining aluminium. Um, so I'll now just change the collet and um, fit the new tool in. I'll show you how to change a collet. Okay. So this is a collet chuck. Okay, so this is the six millimeter collet chuck. So this is the eight millimeter collet that fits this cutter. You just clip it in like that. Put the tool in. Actually, to get the tool in, I'm going to have to move it across that way a bit. There we go. No need to have a tremendous amount stuck out. Of course, you've got a special key to do that up. And I've got this locked, got the shaft locked. Nice and firm. You're going to have to over tighten it and we'll bring this down now and zero off the top of the material the Z axis. Okay. And now to zero the Z. Easy as that. So now Mark 3 knows exactly where the tool is in relation to the start of the work. So the next thing we need to do is load up our G code. Actually, first I'm going to lift up the tool off the material. And to do that, we will raise that slightly and then and then just press on the keyboard the up button I can tell by the DROs that it is actually going up so now we're going to load the program into Mac so you just come up up to file load G code and we're going to go to, let me see, it's not on the desktop, it's in my removable storage device, MIDI, and it's part number three, uh, this one here. And always press regen and here is the part here in this little window so 
Now what we'll do is start up the spindle motor and we'll start it running. Absolutely beautiful. So now all I have to do is turn it over and face it off. I'll give it a bit of a clean up first.
please press like and subscribe and if you would also like to support the channel and become a patron the information will be underneath this video uh, in the above the comments section so uh, thank you for joining me for this video and uh, i hope to see you next time you can hear me over the next The next video we'll, should, we'll be starting to make the, the, the gantry here uh, because I, you know, I needed these uh, and I needed to be able to you know, uh, mount them so I could mount the, uh, the, the gantry uprights here. So that'll be the next thing, the gantry uprights and uh, we we'll, we'll might even get the, the gantry all connected up. So uh, thank you for joining me. And it's, 